we understand the business. That is why people see us today like this. Because long time ago, we're talking about this, like, you know, from 2005. 2005, yeah. You know, those days, you know, Bullet was living around, and you know, uh, you know, can I bring a secret before he ends? Can I? Uh, can I? Don't, no, go far. No, you, don't know. Know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when he got his first car, his recording, well, the first person he called was me to come and ride with him. This guy is my guy. And that day, no. I swear, nobody know that secret. If you know that secret, you'll be gone. <laughs> That day, no. End of story. They seized the car. <laughs> Who seized it? Oh no! Yes, I. If they want the story, we'll give it to them. But they'll, they'll pay something small. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let me just add that this uh, press conference is live on GH1 TV and also on GH1 TV's uh, Facebook page. Uh, so join the conversation across the social media network. So uh, the next question, Doreen Avier from Multimedia. Doreen, please. Boss, you can only ask a question when I've called you. Thank you. Um, good day, everyone. And good congratulations day. to Stoneboy and Shatawale. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so my question is, um, yes, we've seen this unity in the past. We actually saw it um, a shaman to the world concept. Yeah. We've seen it countless times. But the question is, how long would it last? And for your fans as well. Um, since the picture came out, it's yeah. always looked like it's fake. There's a disconnect. Like there's a disconnect because, well, Shatawale is a funny guy, so there's always this facial expression. Mm -hmm. How is this going to last? I mean, how are you going to promise us that nothing of this sort is going to happen again? Who answers first? Who are you doing that to? Shata. And then me. Or yes, me. The or two us. Okay. The two I, think, I think my brother can really answer this. <laughs> Yo, but today after yes, after they hold me like one million dollar cost. And they answer the questions all oh, thank you. I mean, you can do it better. Okay, to be honest, before God and man, um, for us to get to this point, we have had to try a number of times. I have had to play my role a number of times because there is a willingness to see peace and grow in peace. And I I can say this for us that Regardless of who heard or who didn't, that day of an Ashima show was when my wife was stabbed when she had was pregnant with my daughter. And then guess what? We took her to the hospital and my manager asked if you're gonna be able to scoop her from her. I'm like, why not? And that was the day we even did that. So I missed the storm. We still pulled it. Right. And if it didn't last whatsoever, it's only right as human that we keep trying in life to keep trying, to keep trying to get to the top. Because a number of times you realize that when he has events, the media will keep asking me, are you going to go to the concert? Are you going to go to the concert? What did I do? I called Sabini, we tried. You know? And when I had my, are you is it going to come up because I'm going to survive it? What did he do? He tried because that theft is danger zone as well, you know, the, for the rivalry. But, so, I just want Ghanaians and world to understand that. We have always been trying, not just us, but why not? It starts from peace is key. The government preaches peace, the president preaches peace. So how much more the entertainment industry that the people listen to more than the presidents? Over the years we've preached rivalry and have put heads together to say competition, rivalry grows the industry is key. But tell me what rivalry has actually gained us. You know, that is ill rivalry, unhealthy rivalry. What has that gained us? You know what I mean? So the length how I mean how the, the, the length of this unity is not dependent on us. We leave it to divine. But we we'll always keep trying where we fall. Thank you. Add something. Okay. Well, like I said, um, um, yes, we keep trying. We, we still want to see what the Almighty God has for us. But um, as mature people, you know, I believe he's a married man. He has kids. You know, 
We don't have privacy for the fans. We don't have a life for the same fans. We don't sleep. We keep creating every day, and so the fans are key people on our hearts that we can't um, disappoint. It transcends from fans to citizens to people who love us and want to see us grow. So we put in a lot of work for the fans. We have sacrificed so much that they don't even have an idea about. 
for the fact we go through so much, for the fact we've slept in places that we're not supposed to. So that's on the side. Charterhouse and VGMA as event organizers, I mean, over the years we've, we've worked together. All the prototypes where they ban the charter and they sit back with him and bring him back. And now, now currently, both of us have been banned. We really realize that. Um, if they do decide by their discretion to lift the ban or whatever, I want them to also understand that, like we've always been, we are professionals. We're willing and open to work with whoever sees us fit to work with. Therefore, when it gets there, we will cross it. But I will admit that with the past brawl that happened and the whole thing, I think that we, I mean, I wouldn't have addressed it, but I think I should go there a little bit. The parties involved are not just me and Shanta. You know, but we have borne the most. Right? We have borne the most. We have been banned, our awards have been straight, we've been, that alone is like a low blow, you know what I mean? And it's a thing that can have an effect on us. We've seen our musical president come and say the industry can do without us. To be honest, these are trying times and times that we should realize that we're not just the two in the, in the place, and it's all of us, and we should all mix to our fault. We have come out to apologize for the past time we've played, but Charterhouse, BGMA, hasn't come to say anything for the involvement, for their involvement, either being wrong or right. You know what I mean? And I want you to know that. So if they do lift the banners to their discretion by the board or by the people that sit there, we are willing to work and when we get there we'll cross it because we are professionals. We'll do things right this time. So you're doing the concert, Ghana Fairs concert. Do you think your fans or your followers are mentally ready to see you two perform underneath the same roof? Because you guys are arch rivals, but now you're friends. Your fans have, might have not yet digested the fact that you guys have come together. They might come into underneath the roof and one might step on one shoe. Like, hey, why did they step on my shoe? And they get upset and they fight. And it causes a big shenanigans here in Ghana. What measures are you guys putting in place to make sure that doesn't happen on the night? All right. Uh, as usual, I'll take it again and my brother can close it. Uh, sorry if it's like men quite and I am and I'm not saying that because I don't say it. I would want Ghana and the world to understand that mentally it hasn't been easier for neither a or a man. If it is not been easy for, if it's not going to be easy for the followers who we cherish, they should also understand that it's never been easier for the leaders who they follow. But if we have been able to consider a bigger picture, Ghana first, I trust that by the love they have for us as those who they respect enough to lead them, they will buy into this and we need them to support this idea. Else, we'll just close and go and sleep because he is going to go into estate anyway. I'm going to do something else I won't tell you guys anyway. We have our individual lives, but I would want the masses to also understand that. To be honest, we do not have a life like they do. They have their individual lives and they wear, wear like the icing on the cake for them. We inspire them, yes, but who inspires us? 
We love them and we do this, but who loves us? It's only them that can love us and give it back. So we trust that this direction is not an evil one. And God knows that in peace we all go and in unity. So if we do come under one roof, then it leaves, I mean, mentally, psychologically, I would ask them that they should have the strength to. Because we'll be a year of peace. Two weeks ago, you guys saw the heights of it. And I know that the fans also get to their own levels. Some people fight, some people, we hear them, some people use knives and all of that. It will have to begin with us for them to get disinfected. Sorry if it's an infection. You know, now it has begun. So I beg them to mentally receive it. It may be harsh, but if they think it's harsh on them, it's harsh on us, if I can use that word. But we have to get it done. And then the measures that should be put in place now leaves the terrain of me and Shatta. It goes into the terrain of security, terrain of law, media, publicity, which we trust that as professionals, we will make sure that Okay, this time, uh, scanner, the scanner, the only one they use for ever do. We go make sure say, we, all the various departments will not go away with anything. So that we are all brought to book when they need be. Because we trust that we're all professionals only, and we know what to do. So like I answered for the charter house staff, I said when they decide again by their discretion, we are here. We will be professional. <laughs> And um, one thing that I think people really don't also study about us musicians, like um, I think people feel we are swollen headed. You know, the perception outside is that we don't know what we have, and you know we just move about anyhow. But uh, I would like to address this to everybody that these are fans that we started with them from day one, and they really listen to us. You know, I mean, most of my fans when you watch my performances, when you misbehave. I'll tell them, hey, that was as in mind. Yeah, you know, so these are people who listen to us. He runs a nation. I run a, I run a nation, you know, and I, I would even like to say if the government will allow, they should even get a beam region and a shutter movement region. We control most of the youth in Ghana, but that is what positive, yeah, you know, that is what the leaders of this country are trying to avoid or they are trying to watch with a blind eye, but yeah. people should just understand this, that what we are doing today, our fans are watching and they really going to follow it as such, you know. People say our fans are, you know, so people should just understand that what we are doing today, our fans are watching yeah. and they are just going to follow exactly like yeah. what they are hearing from us. And the police, thanks to the police, they bring so much of help to us, you know. Yeah. Anywhere we go, they are there. And so, they are also going to work very well for us to have yeah. a very, you know, suitable entertainment industry. Yeah, and I want to add something more um, about the fan base thing. You see, we have come to a realization that it is okay, it is super cool if you don't like Stoke and you like Shatawale. You know what? Once you like a brother who does the same thing and is a Ghanaian, it's okay. But if you don't like Stoke and you like somebody else, man, then now and go fit come, see, watch your step. And it is okay to like Stone Boy. And, and you know what I mean? And also the other way around, if you don't like Shatawa. It's okay, but to cause fights and beefs out of that is where it goes beyond the border. I know it goes beyond the border. I know people who love me so much and don't love him. I know people who love him so much. And they tell me, say, me, they are Shatawa fan, oh, but so, yeah, why not? Come on, man. You know, so we're not doing today. Make you know somebody knows see I'm saying, hey, now they will think how to love Shatta. <laughs> cool. Love me, love me. Yeah, somebody to go to say, ah, now they will think how to love Stone Boy. Love him, love him. He's a very nice guy. <laughs> continue to love Shatta, continue to love Stone Boy. But the peace, the significance we see, let us not take it to levels where we will destroy each other at the end of the day and gain zero. That's why it's Ghana first, because we are Ghanaians before Stone Boy. We are Ghanaians before Shatta, as our uh, showbiz names. So that is the essence. So that's what I want to ask. So don't worry. If you like, don't download my songs to you, Shatta. I respect that. You have the rights to. 
So we just for have this understanding as people. Uh, I hope say I add up something to that. And okay. thanks to the powers that be, the government, the top bosses that have so always been speaking to me and him over the years before today. I don't know if I can mention names because of levels, but they know themselves. And wherever they are, thank you, God bless you. We, we want to change the narrative. We're in 2019 and in 2020, Africa must see the new thing. And Ghana especially must have a renewed mindset so that we can grow. Because we wish to grow in the music industry. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Okay. We'll take the very last question from Legion of Peace Center. Okay. Um, uh, quick two or three questions. The first one One question, Legion. Only one. Okay, um, I want to know the event, is it going to be a one-off thing or is it going to be annual? Um, because if it's annual, it's going to go a long way to sustain the unity and the peace we are projecting. And then secondly, um, we are both spoken about the fan base. Um, they acknowledge the fact that the media one is a very strong plan. Thank you, Eugene. I want, to, I want them Thank to make an official statement to be a fan. Thank you, Eugene. They've already made an official statement. Thank you, Eugene. And um, just to say that the peace concepts date and uh, time and venue will be communicated in the next few weeks. If you've had any dates outside um, of this room, of, not from the two gentlemen here, it is a big uh, date that you have been given. And so the announcement will be made very soon. Uh, thank you very much. And for the official announcements, they have done that. Uh, for the past 20 minutes, they've been speaking uh, to uh, the unity and what they expect their uh, teaming funds to do. So they've already made that statement. Right. Okay. Um, to be honest, for it to keep running, right, it doesn't depend only on us to do it. You know, there are several arms like the business part that have to keep running. So, so long as we're able to financially sustain this to make it keep going, we will definitely keep it running and when time permits because we both are busy artists and we have our own schedules. Mind you, this is not a new group. This is not a new group. We've been and have always been and want to stand for unity and push right in unity but as shatter that has always been as a stone boy that has always keep creating. So we would even love to do this weekly, even daily. You know what I mean? Once as the other parts kick and we have time and everything resonates for us to do it right so All right. thank you very much yes the boy shata do you want to add on i i think yes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i think i think he said everything and I, I like what you also said too. So. all right um so we've taken all our questions but before we go i see when we share here uh, Wendy is here as a very young artist, a new artist on the block, and as the two of them uh, mentioned earlier, they are doing this so that the younger generation will not repeat their mistakes. For you here, what do you think, seeing your seniors come together this way, uh, quickly, and then we can rush up? We say that we're very grateful. You guys are setting a very great example for young and upcoming artists like us. So please keep the unity strong because we look up to you guys. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. All right, so we have to say a big thank you to all of you for coming. We have to say a big thank you to the Kofi Abang Foundation for making this possible. And I don't want to go without thanking the management teams of these two artists. Black City, uh, who's a manager for Stoneboy, exceptionally great gentleman. Uh, and Bulldog, of course I was going to mention Bulldog. Bulldog, where is he? Bulldog, exceptionally great as well. The two of them combined are great, they've been phenomenal. And I can't go without saying thank you to Bullet. Uh, Bullet as well. Yeah. Uh, he's very yeah. Thank you. You know, I think, I think, I think what people don't also know is that Bullet also helped. Yeah. Bring in this community yeah. together. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's about you. All right. Show, right? So, on the heart that's of Big Nation, can I hear Bim? Bim! It's not loud enough. Bim! 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 Hold on, hold on, Bim, is it loud enough? Bim, is it loud enough? They are not serious, eh? They serious, they serious. Uh-huh. Now we are getting... Yo, I think I will go into my station.